ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवाय ओम माय बाउ टू द लॉर्ड वसुदेवा जय टू यू फ्रेंड्स वी रीडिंग फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ द भगवद गीता and i've been discussing the um battle between the good side and the bad side not the battle itself but the forces ranged against each other and the definition of those forces and their purpose and then arjuna says alas actuated by mere avarice to possess a kingdom we are gathered here ready to kill our own kinsmen parenthesis those tendencies in ourselves which though harmful to our very peace of mind and inner happiness are for all that members of our own family of consciousness arjuna continues this act surely will involve us in great sin i'm reminded of that that song in oklahoma where this girl is saying i'm just a girl who can't say no what you going to do when somebody starts acting flirty spit in his eye this is the way reason works it tries to bring a ridiculous thing we'll be sinning if we kill our bad side this is the mind comes up with the most fantastic arguments to keep you bound to delusion and bound to living in the wrong way well i can't get rid of my own greed after all it's i who am greedy it's my nature to be greedy and uh, who is uh, if i were to destroy my nature i would be less myself i would be less conscious i wouldn't be holy me these are the rationales that people play with and offer up to others to live in the wrong way and you find this everywhere people who are who drink but don't smoke they say well it's true i drink but at least i don't smoke and people who smoke say well yes i smoke a little bit every now and then but at least i don't drink and so they will always somehow try to find a bath buttress to defend their own delusions and if they're anger if they get too angry with other people well you know after all they um i'm trying to help them trying to show them that they're wrong or whatever other reason or argument they come up with because the arguments are just legion you can't stop them when you when you uh when you hear people gossiping unkindly about something you find them always sort of <laughs> as if trying to make you think that they're happy but they're saying that because they know inside that they're not and every one of these rationales inside it the soul is just quietly watching and saying okay let's see see when you change do you really believe what you're saying well they'll shout the louder to howl down that rationale inside themselves that tells them they're not doing the right thing because they don't want to change themselves it's too much trouble it's too difficult they'll blame everybody else any time you find in yourself a tendency to blame others look at yourself and see why are you blaming them you wouldn't even be blaming them blaming them if you didn't have a germ of that problem within yourself we must overcome the tendency to find fault with others because whatever we see in others we have in ourselves we can be sure yes a wise man will see those faults but he won't be disturbed by them is the fact that others get your goat that <clears throat> shows there's a goat there to be gotten which <clears throat> is when people are when people are unkind that's when they get upset by other people being unkind if you're really compassionate if you really don't if you're really kind you'll see that well people are that way people will persecute you yes of course they will people out of jealousy will do lots of things against you but don't let it get your peace of mind it's their problem not yours how many people when you try to do good will do their best to pull you down don't get upset by them because if you do you'll be in their boat also and so our journey's tendency to say oh and mind you this is not our journey he's speaking on behalf of you me the devotees those who are trying to find truth you will see that these faults are in all of us as long as we're working with them and have not yet overcome them they uh, you will express pride well i'm not really pride i'm proud i'm just aware 
Well, are you pleased with that awareness? There's your problem, not the fact of being aware. A great man, a great master knows he's great. But is he pleased with that? No, he's not. He knows that God is the one who's great. God is the doer. When somebody said to Jesus, good men, Jesus answered, why call ye me good? There is but one who is good, and that is God. Even our goodness is from him. In fact, we are good to the extent that we have removed one of those koshas or sheaths that prevent us from being that way. There are three qualities, and we're going into this very more deeply later in the Gita, three qualities that the mixture of all three is what makes this great delusion. The maya, the dvaita, the duality, and then the three, co the three gunas or qualities. The darkening quality is that with people who have such a shath over their mind that they can't think in terms of intelligence. They're only thinking in terms of pleasure of the body. And this is, this is their definition of happiness, having a good time, getting drunk, going to parties, or uh, whatever oafish pleasures they may involve in. But when that sheath is removed, then there is the, um, the uh, rajasic, rajaguna it's called. Later in the Gita it says that I am in nature as the uh, smoke is hidden, as the fire is hidden by smoke, as the rust hides the image of a mirror, as, an, as a baby is hidden in the womb, as the embryo is hidden in the womb. And he's talking of these three gunas. The first guna is sattva guna, where um, the, the, there's a little f smoke over the fire, a little smoke of ego, but a little puff of meditation, and it will be vanished. Then there is the raja guna, which is active, and you're want, always wanting to do something, a little bit of hard work, and you can get rid of that rust and see the image of your true self. But with those who are in tamo guna, it only as it takes nine months for a child to be born, so it takes that length of time, or figuratively that length of time, much, much, much longer, in fact, for a person to come out of that darkness, which sees only in terms, thinks only in terms of the body. The goal of getting rid of all these koshas and understanding the infinite is hindered by the ego, which tells you that what you really want is what you're doing right now. Habit, that's why habit sides with the lower side. Whatever you're doing, that's what you should be doing. That's what everybody does. And it's very difficult to convince your mind you shouldn't be what you are. And this is the perfect argument against that thought of uh, overcoming that being what you are that Arjuna presents to us in these stanzas of the Bhagavad Gita. He says, it's who I am. How can I be anything else? I must be sincere to myself. Remember this, to be sincere to yourself is to be sincere to your higher, not to your lower self. I say this in defiance of every Freudian in the world. They are talking delusion. Krishna is talking truth. Joy to you.